You have just received a Fisher & Paykel healthcare mask for use with your CPAP device. In addition to this video, you should also consult your instruction manual for additional information regarding specific warnings and safety precautions. Some of the steps about to be demonstrated may already have been covered by your home care professional. Included in your mask box is one fully assembled, ready-to-use mask, an instruction manual, a user-friendly fitting guide, and, in some models, alternative-sized silicone seals and foam cushions. Open your box and remove the fitting guide. Follow the simple fitting instructions in this guide until you are familiar with your new mask. Take the mask from the box and remove the protective cover. Unclip the headgear from the glider strap by pushing on the easy release button on the grey clip. Holding your mask in one hand, spread the headgear with your free hand. Lightly hold the mask over your face, ensuring the seal fits under your chin. Slide the headgear over your head. Reattach the headgear clip to the glider strap. Gently adjust the top horizontal straps. Then the lower horizontal straps. And lastly, the crown strap to attain a secure fit. Ensure the top of the seal remains stable on the bridge of the nose and the bottom of the seal remains fixed under your chin. For best results, you will need to make final adjustments to your fitting while in the sleeping position, with your CPAP device connected and at your prescribed pressure. The former full-faced mask is available in four different sized seals, small, medium, large and extra large. Your home care provider will ensure the best fit for you. This is too large. This is too small. This is a perfect fit. To remove the mask, unclip the headgear from the glider strap by pulling the easy release cord toward your nose. Your CPAP device should be used every time you sleep. After fitting your mask, turn your CPAP machine on, then attach the tubing to your mask. Once in the sleeping position, with your mask connected, you may need to make some fine adjustments. It is also recommended that you pull the mask base slightly away from the face. This allows the silicone to inflate. Then place the mask back onto your face.